reception was palpable here at Children's Mercy Park as hundreds gathered to give Captain Melton a hero send off. The president of the Fraternal Order of Police said in one word, Captain Melton was a leader standing in front of his men and officers from across the metro came here to give their brother a final farewell. Draped in the American flag and surrounded by his fellow officers. It's pretty heart wrenching. Um, I mean, the law enforcement community is a pretty tight knit community. Badges from departments all over the metro unified in one somber ceremony to honor Captain Dave Melton. The Blue Brotherhood and Sisterhood, it's just uh, awesome. We all come together. The very best we can do is the least we can do for his family. Captain Melton's death comes at a fragile time for law enforcement. I mean, with everything going on in the country right now, it's, it really hits you hard. It's devastating to all of us. We view all members of the police departments, not only locally, but across the country as family. These officers say as they grieve the loss of Captain Melton, the support from the community lifts their spirits been nice as the community comes up, gives us a hug, says nice things to us. We don't usually get that. The community support that is, is being shown is phenomenal. An emotional Chief Terry Ziegler, supported by his colleagues, delivering this final message. Dave, I hope we made you proud. We are very proud of you. Rest now, brother. We'll take it from here. As many as 200 officers from other departments are working for the Kansas City, Kansas police today so that those officers could be here to say goodbye to Captain Melton. Emily Welsh, KNBC 9 News.